Hello, my name is Susan Stryker, and today we're going to be talking about light. For example, how a light radiates out from the light bulb in a flashlight. I'm going to be reading you a story by Betsy Jane. It was illustrated by Stacy Hewitt, and it's called Flashlight. I sit up in the big dark. It doesn't smell like our house. My sister is so little. She goes to sleep anywhere, even in restaurants. She doesn't care if we have to sleep in Grandpa's living room or if Mom and Dad are far away in the bedroom down the hall. But all I can see is dark. That door to the hallway is a cave. Out of my mouth comes a little crying sound. Out of the cave comes a bear. But it's only Grandpa. Did I hear my mouse? My name's Marie, but Grandpa calls me Mouse. I rub my head on his warm pajama shirt. Dark, ain't it? He says. Thought you might like a flashlight. He puts a heavy shape into my hands and shows my fingers how to push the switch. In the all of a sudden light, I see his face and Tibby sleeping. Now you are right, he says. If you need me, you call. The flashlight beam follows him back down the hall. I click this switch. The whole world disappears. I click it again quickly and the world comes jumping back. That forest of legs is the table. That leaning mountain is the chair. Something could hide there. But wherever I point the flashlight, the shadows run away. There's the cat teapot. There's the blue bowl with peaches. There's the music box that plays the Tennessee waltz. And there is the one-eyed horse that in the daytime I can ride. The flashlight doesn't look at things all at once the way the sun does. But one by one, it's my night eye. When I look in the mirror, I don't look like me. I shake the flashlight, all the shadows shake. Tibby sighs in her sleep but doesn't wake. A moth comes. Back and forth across the beam, it flies in flashes. The window screen is crowded with whining midges, bumbling June bugs, and ants with wings. They love my light. But I'm the one who chooses when it shines. I can cover it with one hand. Watch. The flashlight's warm. Fire glows right through my bones. I can go into dark places shining. My sheet is a tent. I'm hunting treasure. Here are my jewels. There are bears. Tibby, they growl. Eat Tibby. But I tame them like moths. Stay there, you bears, I say, and they stay. I explore the very bottom of the bed where it's usually just feet. Through caves and tunnels, I crawl back out to the cool air. The living room is new. This is my flashlight country. I make the sunshine here. I can make shadows run. I can boss moths and bears. I am the queen of the night world. Marie, I can see in the dark. I switch off the light. The whole night pours in. I switch it on again, but the shadows are back. They move. Tibby sleeps. Grandpa! He comes out of the dark, rumpling his hair. What mouse? Nothing. I was making sure. Sure. I switch the flashlight off. His big hand nudges my cheek. You keep that light, he says. That's yours now. After he goes, I whisper, Don't be scared, Tibby. I've got a flashlight. Don't be scared, Tibby. I've got a flashlight. 
When you're working with chalk, because it smears so much, you want to be sure to get your name on before you begin and not write it in chalk. Put your name in a light colored pencil if you're working on black. You don't use the point of a piece of chalk the way you would with a pencil. You're going to want to be able to use the side of it. Just remember, this is supposed to be the light bulb. It doesn't have to be white in your drawing, even though I chose white. But it should be the lightest color in the colors you choose to draw with. Use it. Look in your chalk box and see which color seems to be the lightest and use that. I blow the extra chalk dust off. I don't rub it off. And again, using the side of my chalk. Pressing hard. I want to get as much chalk on the paper as I can. And you'll see why when I blend it in a minute, why you need lots of chalk. And if you see you've left some spaces, there's no reason why you can't go back and fill them in. I don't want the black paper showing through. And here's another color. Remember to keep blowing the chalk dust away. These circles, because they share the same center, are called concentric circles. Concentric circles. Then, I'm going to take my next art material, which is a clean tissue, and I'm going to start in the very center where the light bulb is, and I'm going to go whoosh. And then, very important to turn to a new area of your tissue. It must always be clean before you whoosh. And you see how that looks like light radiating out from the center. And again, turn your tissue. That's an important part of this activity. And whoosh. And it really shows the light radiating out from the center. And here are some of my students renditions and see how different everybody does this drawing you can see they all follow the directions perfectly and yet their pictures look so different from each other that's the way art should be and of course usually you have a flashlight in a dark area so I like doing it on a dark piece of paper